Zero Five, Jamel Gadbila, and also me, Days and Amaravilla, presenting our vlog for today. But before that, please don't forget to hit notification button for more videos, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel. According to Bauzon 2001, the special education curriculum is emphasize the necessity of the curriculum. Curriculum is viewed as the very heart of all educational system. The issues, problems, and prospects of an educational institutions are intimately intertwined with the issues, problems, and prospects of the curriculum. There are different approaches to curriculum design and let us underscore two approaches relevant to the teaching special education. So these are number one is integrative or activity centered curriculum approach. It is the scope and sequence of this approach is found in the child himself. The learner's needs and interests supply the basis for planning the activity or experience-centered curriculum. Number two is child-centered curriculum approach. It is designed for the child as the center of the educational process. Children become the focus of educational efforts. Experience becomes the medium of learning. For purposes of discussion in special education, Stowe 2006 presented the curricula for children with special needs. So they are given below. Number one is learning disabilities. So here are the types of learning disabilities. Number one is student with dyslexia have much easier time focusing on a topic that is interesting to them. Take an active role in helping your student gain skills in the area of reading, writing, and calculating. Number two is, for these calculic children, keep a sharp eye opportunities and skills that are appropriate with mathematical understanding and interest. Number three is, children with dysgraphia must be taught with cursive writing. When letters are connected, it eliminates the issues of spacing in words and make it easier to stay on the baseline. Number two is ADD or ADHD. The curriculum includes a balance of teacher-directed and self-directed activities. Provide a chart that is specific what she or he needs to do and estimate. Number three is autism. In as much as students with autism tend to be visual learners, visual cues greatly help them understand language, concept, directions, and schedules which are strategically posted inside the classroom. Fourth is Tourette syndrome. Many students with disability have difficulties with fine motor and visual functioning. For this reason, some homework and classroom assignment need to be shorter, since handwriting can be laborious. Number five is mental retardation. Learn about your student's developmental level and of intelligence so you can plan how in learning activities. Number six is gifted and talented. Gifted students can have different assignments, but they should be in the same area of study as what the class is working on. Number seven is physical impairment. If you are teaching children with hearing impairment, use visual cues to reinforce concept and facts. Film shown must be provided with captions or written script. Contemporary special education curricular models are tied to provision of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act or EDEA and influenced by reform movements in the fields of special, for example, inclusive school movement and general education, for example, multiculturalism. So the next topic will be discussed of Mr. Jamel Gadbilaw. Good afternoon, guys. I am Jamal Gadbilao, and I want 
you to I want to discuss to you about the topic of SPED or special education. Since most of us uh, know what is special education, I will put more uh, more information about it. Curriculum framework introduced in 2012. SPED curriculum frameworks of living, learning, and working in 21st century sets a common direction and excellence in teaching while providing flexibility and space for SPED schools to customize their, circum their circumstances and cu curriculum to meet the unique needs of diverse students' profiles. No, number one, the framework articles the vision of active in the community, valued in society for a special education, and uh, the education of living, learning, and working. And there are six learning for or domains in special education. Number one is for academic. Number two is for daily living and for Number two is physical education. Number four is social and emotional. Number five is for arts. And for the last one is for vocational. The framework also affirms the importance of character and citizenship in education as the foundation for, the, for values based on special education and the use of information and communication technology as an enable for teaching and learning.